Hello there, my beautiful Leos. What's up, baby? It is your girl, Jalissa. Please like, share, comment, subscribe. Follow me wherever I'm at. Bless. Okay, give me a second, guys. Hold up. <laughs> hey, Leo. Sorry about that. Um, Did we start over? I guess we did. Let me make sure. Oh, we didn't start over. Okay, anyway. Hi, Leo. Sorry about that again. All right, so I feel like... All right, that, that does connect to what I just got right now. Okay, so what I got for you, Leo... Take what resonates, leave what doesn't. Flip-flop the rose if you feel like it fits or you need. Bless. All right, so what I got for you, Leo, is that someone's coming home, and there's going to be a lot of apologies. Okay, we good, we good. Yeah, we're good. All right, so, yeah, like, I, I'm getting a lot of apologies, and I'm getting, like, something squaring out, something being good, okay? Something's coming in. It took a while for it to come in. I'm getting a lot of apologies. Somebody's going to be really apologetic, Leo, is what I'm getting. And I'm seeing you telling this person, like, we good, we good, we good. Like, it's good. It's all good. It's all good. It's all right. Don't worry about it. Like, it's all right. Like, I see someone really apologetic, okay? Um, I also see something coming in. It's giving treasure, all right? So your treasure, you've been looking for treasure, all right? You've been on a mission, Okay, is what I'm getting. You've been looking for something significant. This treasure, the treasure is coming is what I'm hearing to tell you. It's going to be all good. All right. And you know what's interesting? My son just asked me a question prior to coming back on camera with you. And he asked me, why, why, does, God do, why does God do certain things? And I told him, I was like, we don't know sometimes at the moment why God does something or why certain things play out the way they do. But we end up finding out later on why something happened and it could be a blessing it's always a blessing in disguise rejection is for your protection so i feel like this may involve a rejection a past rejection you're finding out some sort of truth someone's really apologetic and you're going to understand why something didn't fall into place back in the day or in the past and why it's falling into place now for you because it was divine timing it wasn't you weren't ready. Something was being prepared is what I'm getting. Unfinished symphony, number 10. All right. October could be significant. We're in October. All right. So, yeah, um, I'm getting unfinished symphony. All right. So something's not done is what I'm getting to tell you, Leo. Someone's coming in with a lot of apologies. You may you may tell them to play the violin. All right. Maybe this is not the first time they apologize to you serendipity but i see you feeling good about it like i see you feeling really good like we're good we're good we're good we're good all right i see you feeling high off life nonetheless like i'm getting someone's going through a lot and you may have warned this person or um you or you may have said something to this person along the lines that you're making the wrong decision or you're making a mistake they may have not believed you then but they believe you now someone's coming in to apologize to you leo um, for a past matter. And I see you feeling really good about it. Like you're going to feel like you're high off life. Number 18 could be significant, significant. Okay. October 18th could have been significant. Yeah. Today's the 23rd. So that's the past. All right. So let's get it. Let's go. Something may have happened on October 18th. All right. So maybe they're telling you something that happened on that day. I don't know what day that was. Mm hmm. Something happened on the 18th of October. That is significant to this apology, all right? So it's taken, well, we are on the 23rd today. So um, it's taken five days. So five days ago, something significant happened for something to come through. All right, so let's see. What else do my Leos need to hear? I feel like someone's going through a lot of karma while you're ascending. You heard that bang. Yeah, while you're ascending, their gate is falling, the beast. All right, so someone's walls are falling. I'm hearing that song by Beyonce. What is that song? Dangerously in Love. I think it's Dangerously in Love. Let me know in the comments, guys, where Beyonce is talking about her walls falling, but she knew that they were going to fall, but she was fighting these walls falling in love. All right, we got the beast here. Lose, lose. Yeah. Wait, it's upside down. The beast. All right, this is the devil. It's a lose-lose. All right, somebody um, was tempted by the devil to go towards another situation or investment or however you see fit. And it was a lose-lose. You may have told this person it was a lose-lose. Like, you're going to lose. Like, you're definitely losing if you're going towards that situation. They weren't trying to hear you is what I'm getting. And now they're coming in with the violin. 
they're falling. Someone has fallen from grace because they went down the wrong way, the wrong path. They made a mistake. And they fall in, like, they let greed, they let pride, they let the ego get the best of them. I feel like they were sinning. They thought they were bigger than God, all right? Because we were talking about God just not too long ago. My son asked me that question. And I feel like this person is going to be asking you questions about possibly spirituality, religion, or something like that. Maybe they're asking you questions like, why do you think this happened, you know? And it's because they were sinning, all right? I'm getting somebody's losing, losing. It's not a lose-win situation. It's a lose-lose. Yeah, kisses. All right, this could be somebody you kissed, okay? And the reason they're falling is because they were sinning. They were only thinking about themselves. This person could have um, left you in the wind, but I'm getting you ascend. You don't fall. You have wings. Reset. Yeah, somebody's going to want to start over with you. The beast. They let the beast take over. Sugar. Mm -hmm. They're coming in with a lot of sweets, all right? They're coming in real sweet, real sweet. They may they may have been salty back then, all right? Now they're coming in real sweet to talk to you about starting over. So this could be a business or a relationship. Take it how it resonates, but I'm getting, um, honey, I'm home. I'm hearing they always come back home, all right? Tell me more for Leo. Thank you. It doesn't have to be love, though. Take that. All right, we have support. Yeah, somebody wants your support. They need your support. They don't want it. They need it. All right, we got push. Mm, they're going to push for that support. They're really going to be persistent. They're going to push for you to support them. Like, please, please, please support me. I need your help. I need your guidance. You were right this whole time. I didn't listen to you. Wow, somebody's going to be really nervous when they're coming towards you. Really sad because everything's going down. Lose lose. It's a lose lose situation. They feel like it's like the it's like the catch twenty two situation. All right, twenty two could be significant. All right, the catch twenty two is basically someone in front of a maze. Right. No matter which way they go in this maze, there's going to be consequences. All right, so I feel like this person is losing regardless what they do. So their best bet is to come towards you, Leo. For a reset, all right? Because they feel like they losing. But their best bet is to come towards you. So you can help them start over, reset. Or I'm getting somebody that likes to smoke a lot. Somebody may like to be high a lot. Or maybe they were high when they were making these decisions. All right, seven of coins. Yeah, it's giving um patience. I feel like you've been patiently growing something here, Leo, in your life. All right, we have the hangman. All right, so I feel like um, I feel like Leo, this person, the world, yeah. I feel like this person, they have help. All right, it was they weren't alone in this scenario. The Queen of Wands. All right, there you are. Regardless of sex, female or male. You hear the sirens back there, the six of cups. Yeah, this person's coming back. I feel like they made you wait. And I feel like they sacrificed you for something else or someone else. And that situation wrapped up or is getting wrapped up. And you're very intuitive. You get all this information from source. And so you told this person something, but they didn't want to hear it. Their ears were clogged. All right, they're coming back now because you're their son you're their moon, you're the stars, you're everything to this person, apparently. But they sacrificed you, is what I'm getting here. Talk to me more about this. Now that now they're hanging in there. Nine of Cups. Yeah. Um, give me the clarify the hangman for me. Thank you. Could be a Virgo involved here. I'm getting a lot of fire. Yeah, the sun. All right. So I'm getting this person um made you wait while they went out and had fun. They wanted to indulge in what they saw to be happiness. It could have been a business, all right? They may have saw a business as happiness, and so they wanted to invest in a business or a situation, a connection, or something like that. So they sacrificed you, and they didn't listen to you, and they went for their happiness. But what I'm getting here is that you're the one that's actually winning, okay? So something's being wrapped up here, a commitment, a situation, yeah, and it's overwhelming. Like, I see someone overwhelmed over here. Mm-hmm. Shocking news. You're going to be shocked when this person comes back to you. They struggling. They out in the cold, and it's giving poverty. Okay? That's what I got.